So please excuse how rough I look today. I'm doing my hair and I thought I'd vlog about it. Um, I told you guys I was going to share a little bit more about my life and um, here I go. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or social media, then you would have seen a couple weeks ago I had a major hair fiasco followed by a meltdown uh, when a top of the line hairdresser decided that she was going to hack all of my hair off. Now I know that mullets are like back on trend now, but trust me, mullets are not for me. It just wasn't working. But as you can see, like my hair is so short. It's, it's so short. My hair is normally like about this length and it was a little bit broken. And I told her that I just wanted her to like even it out and um, just give me like a serviceable cut. And this has even grown out since then, but she gave me like all these tiny little layers up at the top and she had originally kept the back super long, but cut this, you know, all choppy like this. So I had a mullet. And not only that, I asked her for copper. Like I wanted like a bright, crisp copper with like a shadow root um, or like a smudge root. And she ended up not doing that. Um, she just kind of like gave me some highlights around my head that didn't really make any sense and they were very patchy while she left other areas like dark brown underneath so it was a mess and I ended up having to go back and like get my money back and it was just I had a full full meltdown crying in the car call I called my mom um I actually facetimed my mom and I was sobbing so I wore extensions for a little while uh just to fix with the situation with the mullet situation and I've also been wearing wigs every once in a while just to give my hair a little bit of a break so that I don't have to use any heat on it or anything. Um, but I don't always like to wear wigs because they're really itchy, they really bother me, and I always feel like I'm wearing like a helmet or something. But today, I don't know what's so special about today. It, call it a mental breakdown. I don't know. Um, I'm going back to my natural color so that I can just grow it out because this, this isn't working. This, it's like a brassy red coppery like I don't even know what it is and then I have like dark roots that I they're not grown out I literally just got a shadow root done um so what I'm gonna do is I bought color oops um so if you're not familiar with color oops this is it um I bought two boxes of this just in case I mess it up and I have to redo it again but it's a um, hair color remover so underneath the color that I have right now I have blonde highlights so basically I just want to strip this red color that's on top so that I can dye over it and my natural hair color is a really dark blonde so I always have to color in my eyebrows and everything to match my hair when I dye it but um, it's like a it grows out of my head is like a dark sand like dishwater blonde so I went ahead and I bought um, dark ash blonde by Revlon um, I usually hate doing box dyes, but right now my patience is just gone. I don't have any patience right now. So I'm going to, I've used this one before, so um, it's ammonia free and everything. So I'm not afraid of using it. So the plan is to um, use color oops to strip all this red out. And then I'm going to use the ash blonde on top. And I'm not expecting it to look blonde. I don't actually want blonde. I just want it to look like a medium ashy beigey brown color because that's what my natural color looks like and if I'm going to grow it out I just kind of want it to be like seamless um I don't want you know blonde roots or anything like that um just in case I mess up though I did buy um a dark ash brown not to put everywhere I'm not going to do that but to put on my roots so if my roots look all messed up I'm going to go ahead and give myself a shadow root with a, a dark ash brown um I've done shadow roots myself before and it always turned out fine. Um, I just blend it to about like here gently and it just kind of helps with like uh, the hot roots. Um, so that's my plan for today. So if you're still watching this right now, um, prepare because I don't know how this is going to turn out. All right, so quick update. I have uh, the color oops on my head, as you can see with this lovely fashionable cap um it's already starting to lighten um which i expected i've used this stuff before um you can see it's got like the gold highlights coming out which is what i wanted so i'm probably just gonna leave it on for um maybe like 10 more minutes and then i will wash it out and see how it looks after i dry it so i know that there are um a lot of very blonde highlights underneath and then i this is mostly 
the shadow root that I had gotten um, and it's still got a little bit of like red up there so I um, am going to apply a little bit more up here where I need it and then wash it out um, but so far it's looking how I want it to look um, crossing my fingers because I don't think I can mentally handle another hair situation. I just don't think I could do it. Okay, so I'm on my way to take a shower. I really hope that I didn't just screw my hair up, but we are going on this journey together and we are going to find out. Ooh, look at that. It looks like brassy in this light. Okay, I'm just going to shower, but I'm driving myself insane. Just washed it out. Um, it's looking serviceable right now. I know it's super brassy, but it did get light enough. Um, so I'm going to blow dry this. Oh, and one thing I forgot to add is I'm also using Olaplex. So um, trying what I can, I use the Olaplex serum. I use the um, shampoo and conditioner to try and keep my hair as healthy as possible. So um, no real breakage at all. Um, this Color Oop stuff is actually really gentle on your hair, so... I think it worked. Okay, so please excuse the sweating. I just got done drying my hair. So it turned out exactly the way I needed it to turn out. Um, as you can see, it's pretty even. Um, just like a bright yellowy orange. That's basically all I needed. I wanted to keep some of the warm tones in there because I am going to be putting that um, Revlon Ash light ash blonde no revlon dark ash blonde on it so um when you're putting an ash color over your hair you want to make sure that you have some warm tones still in your hair otherwise you're probably going to get that murky gross gray brown color that's happened to me a few times where it almost like borderline turned green so since i still have some warm tones in here that ash color should be able to latch on pretty well and like neutralize it and just create kind of like a beige colored like you know that mixture between um a light brown and a dark blonde that's kind of what i'm aiming for so i'm going to rest for a minute and then i'm going to add that color to my hair and let it process all right this is the final result and i love it i think it turned out great it's that light like mushroom brown and it's going to blend in with my roots perfectly um and luckily it doesn't look like i have to do a shadow root right now um i think it looks fine for the time being and yeah it turned out way better than i thought it was gonna be it's not patchy it's not streaky and the olaplex that i put in my hair kept it soft and shiny so it's not like breaking off or anything like that i ended up doing the color oops twice um because the first time it just like, I don't know, it left my roots looking all weird and stuff. So I ended up doing the color oops everywhere. Thank goodness I bought a second box. There is a little bit of blonde that kind of peeks out down here a little bit, but I don't mind that too much. Um, it's, it's not very noticeable at all for the most part. It is uh, just like a light mushroom brown. That red is gone. I'm so happy. I was not happy with that red. It didn't fit with my skin tone. It, it made me look super pale, super pink. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10 would do color oops again. And I probably will someday. Who knows what I decide to do. Um, so if you're looking for a good alternative to bleaching your hair when you regret your hair color, get color oops. Um, it's very gentle on your hair. You can see it's not like stiff and, you know, it still curls and it's still shiny and it's very soft to the touch. Um, and my hair has been damaged very badly. So I know what it feels like to have really damaged hair and this feels very nice. Um, and I would recommend you to get the Olaplex um, shampoo and conditioner at the very least um, because it, your hair only gets softer with every single wash. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I have for today's vlog that's not my usual content. Brad Mondo, if you ever see this, I am so sorry for the process that brought me to this, but I am definitely not sorry for how it turned out. I hope you guys learned something here because I definitely did not, and I will probably continue to keep doing my own hair because I am broke and I need to save money. So I'm going to end it here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um... Bye-bye.